What's up guys, John from Grossy Snails here. And before this video starts, uh, yes, I'm doing a Dark Magician deck profile. But before this video starts, uh, I just explain a few things. Uh, this is not the most optimal Dark Magician build. It's one I've had for a while, I just never made a video on it. And I will be doing a more up-to-date version uh, short in like next week, probably when I get all the cards in the mail. But I felt like it would be a shame just to edit it and take out the cards I have in here because I personally feel like they're cool ideas, I guess. But um, there will be two more different versions than the one you're watching right now. There will be one when I get all the cards in the mail, which should be roughly a week and a half. And then there will be another one at a later date when I can finally get a, a play set of... Magician Souls, because as you know right now, it's not exactly the most affordable card, and it's not exactly the easiest card to pull either. So when I get that, I'll do a finished, I guess, uh, deck profile of that. Up, but you know, this is what I've been playing for Dark Magicians wise for I want to say like maybe a year, you know. Except for two cards I put in an extra deck just to, you know, you'll see that. But, yeah, be fun. So, let's get into that. This deck profile, bro. Uh, before I start, uh, I just want to let you guys know that we appreciate the recent support you guys have been giving the channel. Even if only uh, a few of you have been watching, it, we, we still... Uh, see everyone who watches we still respond to all the comments you know positive and negative um you know we're we are not like just being like hey we need the views you know yeah but yeah that's about it uh don't forget to uh like comment subscribe it helps us out more than you'll know it gets us on youtube's good side um share the video with your friend Follow us on Twitter and Instagram down below. Links will be. Uh, do all the things, basically, is what I'm saying. But enough rambling. Let's get into the deck profile. So, start off. Three Dark Magician themselves. I played the three artworks I like the most. The Shauna Jump, Arcana, and OG. Uh, you can play whatever arts you want. I, these are just the ones I like. Um... Three rods, standard stuff. Summon him, search a spell, trap, dark magician attacks, or, uh, yeah, why did I think he did something else? Uh, and also, uh, his graveyard effect, which most people don't know, is that if you activate a spell, trap, or a card effect on your opponent's turn, you can tribute a spellcaster, return him from your graveyard back to your hand. So, it comes in clutch if you're in a tight pinch, just activate. So, uh, uh, which, not why am I think Eternal Soul? There we go, and then just tribute whatever and just add him to hand. So three Apprentice Illusion. Um, she's just basically a extra two thousand for any Dark Spellcaster, and when she's summoned, can add Dark Magician from deck to hand. That's basically it for her. She used to be better when she first came out, but the new support kind of blew her out of water. Only one, oh my god, Eclair, again, sorry for the go. Only one Magician of Dark Illusion. Uh, he's just here for an extra level seven body. Um, and if you get his second effect off or you activate spell trap on your opponent's turn to five Dark Magician, yay. Uh, but most times you won't be able to do it. So you just summon him, uh, overlay for uh, illusion and just do stuff or link him off. It's up to you. One blue boy. Yes, we played the spellbook engine. Kind of have to. Uh, summon him, add a spellbook from deck to hand. Is what it is. And here's where I was saying it's not the most, uh, com nah. it's not convenient, but I played the Wind Witch engine. So two ice spell, two glass bell, and one snow bell. The idea for this is that if you have no plays in hand, like you open your hand and it's kind of eh, 
or if you've already burned through a lot of resources dark magicians wise and you can't get anything else off at least you have this to go off into the snowbell link monster burn your opponent for damage and then link off again and go into crystal ring crystal bleh, crystal wing and then you have a negate on board and most people don't uh expect a crystal wing and a dark magician build so basically you summon ice spell ice spell searches glass spell glass spells affect when it's summoned if you have two or more which spells you can search snow belt but you have to be careful because when you summon all three it locks due to only wins for the rest of the turn so you gotta make sure you have no more plays and then go off of this this will be cutted when i get new cards in like a few days so <laughs> this is probably the last time I'll see it in this deck. Uh, three circles, common stuff. Uh, I want to already bump the last one, the secret rare. Basically, if you know Dark Magician, you know what it does. Activate it, look at the top three cards of your deck. Add a spell trap of Dark Magician's text or Dark Magician itself. Uh, if a dark, and then place it on the top in, in any order. Um, if a Dark Magician is summoned, you can just banish a card on the field. That's about it. Is still, in my opinion, the best card in Dark Magician. Uh, three Magicalized Fusion. God, that glare is being a pain right now. Uh, that'll be good, I guess. Magicalized Fusion. This is mostly here for summoning Quintet Magician. Because after you go through the Wind Witch uh, play, you have already, after you sync, uh, sack them off for a synchro, if you manage to go through some Dark Magician plays before, you already have five Magicians engraved for next turn or some Quintet Magician. So that's the idea of having both Wind Witch and this in the deck. It's not the most logical, but it made sense to me and I've been able to pull it off more times than you would think. So don't knock it. Play it a few times. If you don't like it, fair. Take it out, put something else in. No harm, no foul. This is just personally what I found to be obscure and most people are not playing it, but you know, to each their own. Uh, spell books, two secrets, two knowledge. Secret searches spell books, so it can either search knowledge or blue boy. Then knowledge, you can send a spell book card to draw to, so it can either be secrets or tribute spellcaster. So, draw power. That's basically it. Uh, two secret village of spellcasters. Because I, this is only the, I don't play skill drain. Uh, it's hurt. Oh, that was, oh, sorry about that. I don't play skill drain. So this is like kind of my, if you will call it a gate in the deck. Uh, you know what Secret Village does. And if you have spell cards, or your opponent can't use spell cards. And most decks do spell cards. Uh, my one of's. Dark Magic Attack and Illusion Magic. That Claire back again with a Vengeance. Uh, pop our Spells Traps. Search Dark Magicians. That's about it. Oh, I, I am going to try and get the first Ed of Dark, Magi Dark Magic Attack. It's just still a little pricey. <laughs> uh, here's what's probably going to be one of the main difference in a, the newer video. Uh, three Magician's Navigation. I'm probably going to bump this down to one or two. Most likely one. Basically what it does, you summon a Dark Magician from hand and a level 7 Lord Spellcaster from your deck. Uh, and then it's a negate for a spell trap on your opponent's turn. Uh, the turn after you activate this. So, it's cool. Of course, three souls, uh, the heart and soul, <laughs> get it? So, all right, I'll stop. <laughs> uh, yeah, but this is the main card uh, for reviving Dark Magicians in the stack. Um, I am gonna get two sick rares. My friends should have them. I just haven't asked him, but yeah. You activate it, you can special some Dark Magician from hand or de uh, graveyard, and then, or you can add a Dark Magic attack with thousand knives from deck to hand. Be careful, because when this dies, all monsters you control die as well. So, be careful. Except for Dragoon. 
Uh, and this is the tech guy Deccan uh, Eradicator Epidemic Virus. So the idea of this is that uh, it was during the time where two Draco was everywhere. And I mean everywhere. So the idea with this is that you would set this, set navigation, set soul, if you had them, uh, activate, activate soul, revive a dark magician. Uh, if you had circle on field, that would trigger to banish something. And then um, you would activate this, tribute uh, dark magician and call traps and then nuke it. So they want to have traps it. It, it it uh it works better than you would think. I would like to again take these comments out for ultra rest, but to each own. <coughs> yep, and that's forty for the main. Like most decks nowadays, forty. Let's go to the extra deck. So off the bat, quintet magician. Uh, I explained magicalized fusion. I really only use just for him. You summon him, nuke uh, your opponent's entire field. Uh, he cannot be tributed, so he's kaiju proof. Uh, no use for, for fusion substitute, uh, the fusion material, so he's super poly safe and cannot be destroyed by card effects. So he, I, I like him, he's great. Um, I also play Dark Magician Dragon Knight. Uh, the only reason I play him is to protect my back row internally. Uh, I, yeah, what, what did I say? The only reason I play him is to protect, uh, Eternal Soul. That's it. Because Eternal Soul dies, everything else dies. He protects my back row. So, that's really the only reason why I play him. Um, to Dark Magicians, this is the card, the only new card in this deck because... I pulled it from a box opening, which should be on the channel by now. Uh, both of them, I pulled one in each box. They're great. I, I really love them. Um, I haven't yet used them in a duel uh, properly. Um, I feel like I should change that. Um, but they're great. Once per turn, when a spell... Oh my god, I'm all over the place. I apologize. Once per turn, if a spell trap card or effect is activated, uh, draw a card, and if it's a spell trap, you can set it and active... And if it was a trap or quick play, you can activate the same turn. If it dies, summon a Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl from Hand, Deck, or Grave. So, they're great. I love them. They also look great. Yeah, I don't know what it is about that set, but... Their ultra rares just look so clean. Ooh. Still need my soul, though. <laughs> uh, and the last fusion, Amulet Dragon. Um, I really don't remember why I played him. I think because he... I just banished all the spells and can get big. Um, I think it might be... I had some idea of, like, him dying and reviving something. I don't remember, but I play him... He's just another fusion target, you know? I don't know. All right, now my XCs. Even Illusion Magician, he's the best one to go into. Uh, you detach, summon the normal monster, it will be Dark Magician. Um, and then if a normal monster uh, attacks, uh, at the start of the damage step, it banishes. So if you can only bring him out Detach, summon Dark Magician, uh, swing with Dark Magician, it gets banished, swing again with Dark Magician, uh, and then swing with him, and that should be 5,000. And if you have something else, you can OTK. He's good. He's the best one. Uh, big Eye, because... <laughs> uh, give me your stuff. <laughs> Basically. And, uh... Let me move over. Uh, Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. Just so... Uh, my opponent can burn themselves to death. That's basically, I want to get the ghost rare for him, but he costs a pretty penny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my synchro package, crystal wing, witch, a uh, winter bell, my man, and fortune lady, every. So crystal wing, I explained crystal wing, he 
gets big for no reason and he can negate uh, Win Winter Bell is here just f to originally sink to her. I think it's a it, I think. I don't know what this is supposed to be. But you sink into it, burn your opponent for some damage, and sink this off into him. Uh, but if you don't want to go into these, you can go into Fortune Lady every. Uh, she gains attack for... Uh, it's attacking... Basically, it gains attack... 400 for every level and then every standby it gains a level and then at during your opponent's end phase if she's in the grave you can banish the spellcaster to a fiver and you can use that every uh once per turn so she's kind of cool i my friend recommended this to me and she's coming clutch a few times so it's gonna be sad when i have to take her out <laughs> now for the synchros borload ugly art uh, Celine, I think that's how you say her. Crowley, and Wee Witch. We all know what Wee Witch does, so I'm just gonna put it over here. Uh, Borload is Borload. Crowley, just to get any uh, spellbook card into your hand. Um, that's basically it for him. And her, you only really use her for uh, a revival. That's about it. It basically common sense. Um, yeah, that's my deck profile. Uh, oh wow, I didn't realize I just threw it in the camera away. I apologize. Uh, yeah, but that's basically it. Um, once my stuff comes in the mail, there will be major updates to this. I mainly want to make this video for you guys because I felt like it would be a shame for the few people that maybe didn't know about the whole Wind Witch uh, tech for very few Dark Magicians. I don't remember who got me onto it. Being like, yo, just put Wind Witch in your deck. And at the time, it worked pretty well. I don't remember, but anyway, that's about it. Um, if you like the video, give it a like. You know, subscribe. It'll help us out. We're trying to hit a uh, hundred before the year ends. So every subscript, uh, every person that subscribes is one step closer to that. Uh, we again, we uh, let me get this in frame. We appreciate uh, all the support we've been getting lately, especially on Instagram. Like, some of you people have been just liking almost every post we, uh, almost every picture slash post we put up there, and we really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, uh, we want to get, uh, more videos like this out more quick, not quickly, but yeah, quickly and more often. Because there'll be times where we'll upload like three times a week, and then there'll be like a week or two of just nothing on the channel, and we want to change that to because we're still technically in the pandemic so there's not much we can do except for box openings hence why a bunch of our latest videos have been box openings or pack openings because we just go to a target or walmart or whatever or buy some online and open it that's about it but yeah uh i'm rambling again like comment subscribe uh Follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram, do all the things. That's all I'm going to say. But, yeah, this has been uh, John from Ghosty Snails with a Dark Magician deck profile. Expect a, I guess, updated, yeah, an updated version of it in about a week, I think, once all my cards get in the mail. But, yep, I'm done rambling. I'm going to go get something to eat, I think. I don't know. I don't know what Mark is up to. Anyway, that's enough for me. See you guys later. Bye.